You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander for safety, though you do not. Sincere humility and flaming love, our Lord honored you with singular privileges and especially leadership of the whole church. Obtain for us the grace of a living faith, a sincere loyalty to the church, acceptance of all her teaching, and obedience to all her precepts. Let us thus enjoy an undisturbed peace on earth and everlasting happiness in heaven. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. we sing two verses of blessed feast and blessed mercy. Blessed feast of blessed martyrs, holy women, holy Sisters, let us ask uh, pardon for our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are pardon and peace for sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are light for the, in our darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. 
Let us pray. Grant a joyful outcome to our prayers, O Lord, so that we who each year devoutly honor the day of the passion of the holy martyrs uh, Nikabuka and Vasil Velichovsky may also imitate the constancy of their faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Lamentations. The Lord has destroyed without mercy all the dwellings of Jacob. In his wrath, he has broken down the strongholds of daughter Ju Judah. He has brought down to the ground in dishonor the kingdom and its rulers. The elders of daughter Zion sit on the ground in the silence. They have thrown dust on their heads and put on sackcloth. The young girls of Jerusalem have bowed their heads to the ground. My eyes are spent with weeping. My stomach churns. My bile is poured out on the ground because of the destruction of my people. Because infants and babes faint in the streets of the city. They cry to their mothers, where is bread and wine? As they faint like the wounded in the streets of the city, as their life is poured out on their mother's bosom. What can I say for you? To what compare you, O daughter Jerusalem? To what can I liken you, that I may comfort you, O virgin daughter Zion? For vast as the sea is your ruin, who can heal you? Your prophets have seen before you false and deceptive visions. They have not exposed your iniquity to restore your fortunes, but they have seen oracles for you that are false and misleading. Cry aloud to the Lord, O wall of daughter Zion, let tears stream down like a torrent day and night. Give yourself no rest, your eyes no respite. Arise, cry out in the night at the beginning of the watches. Pour out your heart like water before the presence of the Lord. Lift your hands to him for the lives of your children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, forget not the life of your poor ones. Lord, forget not the life of your poor ones. O oh God, why do you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you acquired long ago, which you redeemed to be like the tribe of your heritage. Remember Mount Zion, where you came to dwell. Lord, forget not the life of your poor ones. Direct your steps to the perpetual ruins. The enemy has destroyed everything in the sanctuary. Your foes have roared within your holy place. They set up their emblems there. At the upper entrance, they hacked the wooden trellis with axes. Lord, Lord forget, forget not the life of your poor ones. And then, with hatchets and hammers, they smashed all its carved work. They set your sanctuary on fire. They desecrated the dwelling place of your name, bringing it to the ground. Lord, Lord, forget not the life of your poor ones. Have regard for your covenant, for the dark places of the land are full of haunts of violence. Do not let the downtrodden be put to shame. 
Let the poor and needy praise your name. Lord, forget not the life of your poor ones. Jesus Christ. Our first reading in the psalm, two lamentations have to do with the destruction of Jerusalem, what we just heard over the last two days. Um, we had that wonderful image of the Assyrians coming to the very walls of Jerusalem and then fleeing. They didn't enter the city. Then Nebuchadnezzar comes, takes over the whole place, installs a puppet, and then even worse, comes back later and, and destroys his own puppet uh, regime, levels the city, desecrates the temple, and here is the uh, the very poetic and, and touching uh, kind of reflection on that reality in Scripture. You can think of Ukraine as a land of ruination. Think of it. The wars that rolled across it back and forth, uh, the ideologies, the, the genocide, the starvation. Uh, not only was it a battleground, it was a a political laboratory. Uh, it is such a great testimony to the spirit and character of Ukrainian people everywhere that um, even given the recent uh, annexation and invasion of 
their territories, that they still continue uh, as a society, as an economy, as a people, as a nation. <coughs> I'm thinking that's why uh, Winnipeg is the center, as the site of our uh, Canadian Museum of Human Rights. Uh, the Ukrainians, of course, made Winnipeg their home, and for many years the head of the church was there, because simply the church in Ukraine was not free. So uh, Winnipeg opened its arms to the Ukrainians, and it's been a beautiful and happy thing, reality since then. However, I was astonished to see in the newspaper that uh, the head of the museum has resigned because of uh, charges of, of uh, latent racism, systemic racism. And, and for me, that has um, highlighted this notion that it's not enough to do your work, to do your job. I'm sure, even with its charged uh, character, a museum of human rights, you need to be a good curator, like any other museum needs a good curator. But here, we realize it's not enough to be a good curator and simply keep displays moving, keep the catalog stocked, or whatever a curator does. A, a museum of human rights must be working against racism, must be working against inequality. And I think Perhaps that's the lesson for us in the over uh, culture, the, the white uh, uh, culture of, of power, of entitlement, of things work for us, the system works for us. I keep thinking of that man in Toronto who's been stopped 50 times by the police and asked for identification. Uh, my life doesn't have that in it. It never will. But uh, there, clearly, the, the, the role of the curator of a museum of human rights is to advance human rights within the organization itself and hopefully within society as a whole. Uh, and I think that's the anger of people who don't understand. They're saying, I'm not a racist, I haven't done anything, I'm, I haven't, I don't hate people of color, you know, things of that nature. Well, that may be true, but as we understand, it's not enough to say I'm not a racist, I must be anti-racist. I must be working for the justice for my brothers and sisters, or the system as it is will just continue. In the lives of these two remarkable uh, martyrs, and I'm going to include the video, and I know for this happy little bunch, I can't tell if you're happy behind your masks, but uh, I'm hoping that you will go back and look either at the link underneath the description of the, the recording of this mass on YouTube or our, YouTube, our Facebook page, but the uh, Redemptorists, uh, no, no, the, the Guri. Yes, yes, the they, they put out a wonderful kind of little biography, just a, a little tw 12 minute or so video on these two. I, I, it's, it's so remarkable, it's so Hollywood, I can't describe to you what it's like for these uh, priests and bishops to be hiding, to be having the troops coming to the other side of the door, to choosing to return to Ukraine when they'd already been uh, imprisoned and tortured by Nazis, to choose to go back to the communists, to have that, to have their experimentation. I mean, the one, I'm, I'm, I forget if it was turpentine or kerosene, had injected into them before they were released. And you can imagine how that destroys a person from the inside. And so they end up coming to Canada and dying actually from 
the wounds from the, the terror that they had experienced in Ukraine. They carried in their bodies the struggle of a whole people and of a whole worldview. Uh, it's far, far more God is calling us to do than to just do our jobs. If we just do our jobs, then the system goes unchecked. The system goes uh, unremarked uh, in a very uncritical way. But each one of us is called to be a peacemaker. And even in our veins, like Nitka Budka and Vasil Belchowski, um, to carry that struggle. No matter how we live, no matter what our, our role is, our job, our career, our life, our, our family, um, we are meant to testify to the kingdom of God, not to one system, no matter how we benefit it, no matter how well it does. Uh, there is so much more God is calling us to. Please rise and join in the prayers of the faithful. We pray for the church throughout the world, for our Holy Father the Pope, for all bishops, for all who lead us, especially for the church in Ukraine, that God will give his people freedom, the rule of law, peace in all our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, the diaspora community of Ukrainians throughout Canada, especially for the Catholic and Orthodox communities, that they will continue to uh, lead us as witnesses to faithfulness and uh, examples of charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have responsibility for our society, for teaching our young, for the images that are put before us in media and education, that we might work for a world where uh, all people are equal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who lead in public office, for all lawmakers here in Canada and around the world, that all those charged with the common good will work for peace and justice for all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions each one of us brings to this Mass, especially for the intentions of Sister Eileen Foran. For God's continued blessings of health and happiness in all our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, especially Sister Mary Winifred, for Father Paul Mooney and his deceased family members. That God will give all the faithful departed eternal light, life, and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, in your martyrs, uh, Nitka and Basil, you show us the most profound truth, your love for all people continue to triumph over all brokenness in our world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Which your earth has given and human hands have made, you will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God. Pray, my sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for the gift of all his name. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of your holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. So lift them up to you. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, and with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. <coughs> <coughs> Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect. Especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Blessed uh, Nika Budka, Vasil Belchowski, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, Joseph, his auxiliary, and the order of bishops, all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Lord is now. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive the Lamb, but only say the word of my soul.
Let us pray. All-powerful, ever-living God, from whom faith draws perseverance and weakness strength, grant that as you gave your martyrs Nitka and Basil the courage to witness to the gospel of Christ, even at the cost of their lives, we may have the courage to live in faithful witness to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Uh, word to the sacristans. We need somebody from St. Peter's here on Monday morning, right, for the great feast day, solemn mass, smells and bells, holy smoke. Please come early. We need to give Kathy a break. She's been doing every day. She should not be the sacristan every day. Uh, and I'll wrap up some muffins. You can carry them away and store them for 72 hours under isolation or something like that. And let's enjoy our feast day on Monday. In the special Mass, Monday at 9, here at St. Boniface Church. Uh, I think that's it for announcements. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We sing the last verse of Blessed Feast. Therefore all who reign in glory, strong and sure with Christ on high, join with us in supplication when before him we draw nigh, praying that this life completed all its fleeting moments past. By his grace we may be worthy of eternal bliss at last. the bed.